You gotta talk to me. Oh, okay. That's enough. Let me talk for a minute, okay? Let me talk. Okay? Am I gonna let me talk? Well, I've had Birdie now for almost a year and a half. I got her, brought her home in July. She was born in April last year, so she's a year and a half old. And I thought, hey, let me talk. I thought it would be a, be a good time to do a puppy review on my cabochon. I like my cabochon. So before I tell you the story of how I met Bernie, hey, I'm supposed to be talking here. Before I can tell you that story, I got to show you who introduced me to puppies, cabochons to begin with, and this is a neat pup. You remember Maisie? You don't remember Maisie. You never met Maisie. But Maisie was the reason I wanted you. Yeah, Maisie was the reason I wanted you. I may be ruining Ezzy's playground here. You're doing better since I gave you a drink, aren't you? You're doing much better since I gave you a drink. Yeah. Maisie was a good pup. Unfortunately, <coughs> Maisie passed away. And that left a hole in a bunch of people's hearts. Mine and a lady by the name of Anne's. Maisie was Anne's puppy. And she had had Maisie's from when Maisie was just a little scoot. And we we tried to go for a while with no puppy between us. And then Ann convinced me that I should go look at puppies. Bernie, you were that puppy. Yes, you were. You were that puppy. And this is what Bernie looked like the first time I met her. So how could I not fall in love with a little puppy? That little puppy, when I met her, Steven didn't even weigh three quarters of a pound. And as you can tell, I don't have big hands and she she more than fit in one hand. I could curl my hand around her and all that would be sticking out was her head. <laughs> she was tiny, cute puppy. She, they brought her out. They actually brought out two pups at the same time and, and, uh, I, I saw the, I saw Bernie and I said, yeah, I think that's going to be my pup. And Ann knew before I had held her for a minute that I had already claimed the pup. <laughs> yep. And I still got you. Yes, I do. I still got you. Yeah. You're better. You're in better mood now, aren't you? Yeah, this is more nearly the way she 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 is. She's usually a very quiet pup. Earlier in the video here, she was a little hungry, a little thirsty, and now she just wants attention. 
Yeah. You just want attention, don't you? That's enough. That's enough. No more. Stop. Cute thing, you. And then, I met her at 10 weeks, or I met her at 2 weeks, and then at 10 weeks, I was able to bring her home. She weighed a whopping 2.9 pounds at that point. She's huge. Okay, and this is what she looks like outside the cage. Oh, oh yeah, you're going to bark anyway, aren't you? Silly. Hey, Goonie Bird. Away we go. Hey, that video you just saw, of course, had Ezzy and Ert in it, but there was also a little white puppy. That little white puppy is actually a litter mate of Bernie's. And just as I fell in love with Bernie and Ann was not expecting to go up there and, and pick out a puppy, I would go every, every week to go visit Bernie before she was released at 10 weeks. And about the seventh week, Ann decided that she was falling in love with Bernie so hard that she wouldn't be able to have a decent, hey, where are you going, pup? She, she wanted to have a puppy of her own. And so, Bernie was the runt of the litter. She weighed just under three pounds when we, when we brought him home. Winnie Rose, the little white dog, weighed about three and a half pounds when we brought him home. Winnie now weighs, oh, somewhere around nine pounds. Bernie, I still don't think, has made it to seven yet. Neither one of them are gonna be huge dogs. They're both very happy, very active, very healthy pups, and uh, we like them both. Well, before we wrap this up completely here, I'm going to share with you what Bernie does when she tries to help me keep the uh, robot vacuum cleaners going. Now, just a warning. There's a lot of barking in the next couple clips. If you don't like the bark here in the puppy bark, you need to move on foot past that. But here we go. Get it. Get it.
Are you being big, brave watchdog? Are you protecting me from the amoebas? The floor bacteria? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, enough puppy fun. You think so? Enough puppy fun? Can you smile like that again? Can you do that again? There you go. Good job. And so that's my cabbage on. I like my little puppy. Like I said, I've had her for about a year and a half. I've never had an ounce of buyer's remorse. And they're not inexpensive to pick them up. But boy, are they fun when you get them. She is a cool dog. Well, thanks for letting me introduce Bernie to you. And uh, thanks for putting up with her barking and her funny little personality and everything like that. She is actually a doll. She's a good little puppy. Waggy tail thing, you. Waggy tail. Yep. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate the interest. Appreciate the support. And uh, thank you. Hey, Bernie. Bernie. There you go. Good job.